carving out some steps on how to get to that Freedom Mountain. So Michael, let's talk about when somebody is on the path of, path of um, recovery, these processes involve in, um, in first of all identifying and uh, sort of rediscovering their higher purpose. What is actually, can you break it down on what is involved? So if somebody there out listening to us today, watching us today, is struggling with addiction, depression, anxiety, I mean, there's a list of a lot of things we do as human beings to not feel and uh, mask ourselves. What is involved in terms of getting there, the process? It is a journey of healing and it's not something that one can kind of do overnight. Miracles do happen, we all know that. A timeline, and, and I, I think timeline can be several years, years, but it's a process. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that I usually tell people is that you gotta keep trying. If you gotta keep trying because it is a journey, and in that journey there's ups and downs. So help our viewers um, understand this path because you have seen people you have got people moved from point a to point b to point c and um, and there's tools and techniques um, that are being used to get to that path so please um, um, share with our viewers about this journey love to love to so we've been using the metaphor of uh, finding out where we are and then identifying Freedom Mountain. Freedom Mountain being fulfillment, the, a life of vitality, intimacy, and prosperity. The first thing I think that happens in um, somebody coming in the door and realizing that even that Freedom Mountain exists is that there's a certain uh, moment, uh, uh, and it can be literally the car running off and the road into a telephone pole or you know a husband or a wife leaving because of the addictive behavior or mm -hmm. the addictive substances or it can be that it's a, you know, a cancer that uh, diagnosis that wakes somebody up to the possibility that there could be another way to travel here mm -hmm. and I think that the first thing is to rec that is that we recognize that okay this is my time to move I've been burying myself for 13 years in this addictive behavior with these substances, with these people, and I've pretty much orchestrated a whole village around me that has just endorsed this kind of behavior and these rituals of using and, and anger and resentment and fears and anxiety. Now I need to think about going to Freedom Mountain. I want to get myself a good vehicle. That's what my teachers always said. You have to upgrade the vehicle. 